Hi, you guys. Welcome back. I'm here with Tim from my game channel, Game Time. What's up, guys? And we're here to talk about Kyber Crystals. Today we're going to talk about yellow ones. Kyber Crystals! You can get them at Bat 2 East or West in California or Florida. Not to be confused with bath salt crystals. Just for you Floridians, uh, I know that's a thing. I don't okay. Don't mind. So, um, we have, just like the other ones, do you have anything else you want to add that's off topic? I'm all good. Um... We have two different characters. We have Maz and Reed, uh, Clonal Reed. And now I'm completely thrown off. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> well, you know, that's what happens. But anyway, um, and like everything else, I'm going to start off with uh, Maz. And uh, we're going to go off, go through all of her quotes. See what we get, and then we're going to back it up with her second crystal. I'm going to go through cut one. If our cuts don't make any sense with you, check out my first video where I talk about the Kyber crystal cuts, and I talk about all four different cuts, and I label them with my two charts that I make, uh, going through whether if you want to categorize them by cuts or categorize them by cut and color. Okie dokie, let's get started. So as you all know, this is Maz Kanata who's the one that we met in the very first of the new series, the 789. Mm -hmm. She's a very cool character, but we don't see her very much. She's kind of like an ancillary character. So I do want to say this is lighting up yellow, but because the holocron is blue, blue and yellow make green. That's how that works. Just letting you know, it's not a, a faulty thing. It's just what colors do. You know, like colors are. I see your eyes. You already know the truth. The belonging you seek is not behind you. It is ahead. Being a hero is not about success or failure. Being a hero means stepping forward, no matter the outcome. If you live long enough, you see the same eyes in different people. Dear child, I see your eyes. You already know the truth. The belonging you seek is not behind you. It is ahead. Maz has an obsession with eyes. What do you think, Maz? Yeah, she's probably... If you live long enough, you see the same eyes in different people. I think she's only got like five quotes. I've already heard like four. I am no Jedi, but I know the Force. It moves through and surrounds every living thing. Being a hero is not about success or failure. Being a hero means stepping forward, no matter the outcome. A little trouble with that holocron? No. The force. It's calling to you. We'll get there, don't worry. Never underestimate the difference teamwork can make. She should be a motivational speaker. Through the ages, I've seen evil take many forms. The Sith. The Empire. Today, it is the First Order. There's shadows spreading across the galaxy. We must face them. Fight them. Close your eyes. Feel it. The light. It's always been there. Sorry. It will guide you. Being a hero is not about success or failure. Being a hero means stepping forward. No matter the outcome. I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> Gotta throw out a little bit to my Enrique Iglesias. No, that's that's the comedian, I think. Yeah. That's no, that's Gabriel Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias. I was right. I was right the first time. All right. So here's the uh, cut two. Be a lot of similar ones on this one. Never 
underestimate the difference teamwork can make. Through the ages, I've seen evil take many forms. The Sith, the Empire. Today, it is the First Order. There's shadow spreading across the galaxy. We must face them. Fight them. Being a hero is not about success or failure. Being a hero means stepping forward, no matter the outcome. Dear child, I see your eyes. You already know. So, I mean, this is, we went through them all. Ah. So next we're going to do Kalona Reed, who is our temple guard. We're going to do three and then uh, back up with four. Kalomo was in the Rebel series. We met him in there. And uh, we have a little bit of debate going on as to whether or not he is the Grand Inquisitor. We're not sure, but if you know anything, let us know, because that's uh, an interesting connection. If he will talk to us, will you please talk to us? Maybe. He feels like it. It has been centuries since invaders dared set foot in the Temple's halls. Should they come again? The yellow blades of the guard shall meet them. So cool. I am Kaloma Ree, captain of the Jedi Temple Guard, and I will defend the Order and the Force with my life. A Temple Guard's mask and robes confer anonymity and symbolize emotional detachment. During guard service, you surrender your identity, your weapon, and everything else. Only your commitment to the Order remains. It has been centuries since invaders dared set foot in the temple's halls. Should they come again, the yellow blades of the guard shall meet them. To serve as a temple guard is to reconnect with the most ancient wellsprings of the Force. Through such service, the Jedi, the temple, and the Order are renewed. The archives of the Jedi Temple contain secret knowledge forbidden to all but the ranks of Masters. Safeguarding this knowledge is the highest calling of the guard. Cool. The lightsaber pike is the sacred weapon of the temple guard. Hmm. Its twin yellow blades symbolize the eternal flame of the order and the vigilance of its protectors. It's like a nunchuck. It's super cool. Yeah. The minute she saw it, she was like, I, I want, want that. that. It's like that, that scene in... Um, Napoleon Dynamite, where his uncle is selling Tupperware, and that lady's like, I want that. So bad. I want <laughs> That's that literally, I turned him and I'm like, I want that. Yeah, she did. She really did. It was pretty good. I uphold the traditions of the guard, but command no troops. To be a temple guard is not a specialty or a profession. It is a sacred duty to which any Jedi Knight or Master may be summoned. Oh, it's like a dream. Yeah, seriously. Dun, dun. To serve as a temple guard is to reconnect with the most ancient wellspring of the four. So we're repeating. Since we didn't see him for very long, we don't have a lot with him. But we got a good amount of quotes out of them. Yeah, we got. We got. I think we got most of them. I think we got all of them. I uphold the traditions of the guard. But command no troops. To be a yeah. temple guard is not a specialty or a profession. It is a sacred duty to which any Jedi Knight or Master may be summoned. Jury duty. Violence within the temple is unacceptable. When it occurs, the guard will put an end to it, acting with neither fear nor favor. <laughs> they don't take the no The archives of the Jedi Temple contain secret knowledge forbidden to all but the ranks of Masters. Safeguarding this knowledge is the highest calling of the guard. A temple guard's mask and robes confer anonymity and symbolize emotional detachment. So yeah, I think we got we got them all. Yeah, I'd say we pretty yeah. If there's more, then uh, we'd have to look it up. But if you're looking for all the quotes without having to listen to all of them through repeats, we're going to put them in the description below. So yeah. feel free to check that out. So I hope you guys liked uh, the the videos. We've gone through all of the. Um, Kyber crystals and what they say, and then all the holocon um, tips and tricks.
So thank you so much for walk. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for walking too. I mean, hopefully you're walking. <laughs> yeah, walking, exercising. That's always good. Uh, leave us comments, likes, ring that bell for notifications. Thank you so much for wa uh, for watching. As I did it again. That's all right. I'm um, sure we all know what you mean. Yep. Take care, guys. All right. Bye.